Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to show you is two very important integrals that uh, you should be familiar with. And you might find these integrals documented in your formula book, but I would encourage you to learn them. We've got i equals the integral of 1 over the root of x squared plus a squared, integrated with respect to x. Obviously, you could have 1 over the root of a squared plus x squared. It doesn't make any difference. But I'm going to show you that this integral reduces down to the inverse shine of x over a plus a constant, or you might prefer this notation, r shine x over a, okay, plus that constant of integration. And we've got another integral here, looks very similar to the one we've got here, only we've got a negative sign here. And it's only valid for x greater than a, and you can see that it's equal to the inverse cosh of x over a plus a constant of integration, or you might prefer this notation, r cosh x over a plus c. So I'm going to show you how you can derive these, okay, just in case you're ever asked. Or you might want to just pause the video and uh, have a go yourself. I'll just give you a few moments if that's the case. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So uh, this is the way that uh, I would suggest you have a go at it, so you can compare your methods if you did have a go. So for this first one, I'm just going to use a substitution. And that substitution is to let x equal a shine u. And so in the usual way, we'd just differentiate this with respect to u. So we'd get dx by du equals a cos u. And then we can make dx the subject of this, and so dx will equal a cos u du. So I'm going to substitute for dx here. So we're going to have 1 times a cos u du. So that's going to give a cos u du all over, and then we'll substitute for that x up here as a shine u. And so this is the result that you should have. The integral of a cos u all over the root of a squared shine squared u plus a squared. And that's integrated with respect to u. Now what we can do next is pull out a squared as a common factor underneath this root. So it'd have a squared times all of shine squared u plus 1. But then we could take the square root of a squared and pull that out as 1 over a. OK, so if you do that, you're going to get this result here. OK, now, should be familiar with shine squared u plus 1. That is the same as cosh squared u. Remember, cosh squared u minus shine squared u equals 1. So we can rearrange that and get shine squared u plus 1 is the same as cosh squared u. OK, those a's cancel as well. So you're going to get this result then. The integral of cosh u all over the root of cosh squared u. Well, the root of cosh squared u is cosh u and the cosh u's cancel out. So that's going to reduce down to the integral of 1 with respect to u. And if you integrate 1 with respect to u, you're going to get u plus a constant c. Now for u, if we were to rearrange this equation, we can see that shine u would be x divided by a. And so u would be the inverse shine of x over a. And that's what we've got here, plus that constant of integration c. Or you could use, as I said earlier, this notation, r shine x over a instead, plus that constant of integration. Okay, so with this next one, I'm going to do much the same as what I did here. Only I'm going to make a different substitution, and that substitution is x equals a cos u. So if you make that substitution, let x equal a cos u, then dx by du is going to be a shine u. Make dx the subject, you're going to get a shine u du. Okay, 
Then all I need to do is substitute my values in. And if you substitute your values in much the same way as you did over here, then for one times dx, well, that's just going to reduce down to a shine u du. And that's all over the root of a squared cos squared u minus a squared. OK. Now, again, if I pull out a squared as a common factor in this root here, we're going to have a squared times all of cos squared u minus 1. And we can take the square root of a squared, so that's going to be a, but when it's brought out the front, it'll be 1 over a. So you should have this result. OK. Now those a's cancel, and I notice that cos squared u minus 1, well that comes to down to shine squared u. Remember cos squared u minus shine squared u is 1. So therefore rearranging that, this is going to become the square root of shine squared u. So if you substitute that in, cancel out those a's. Now, what we find we get is this, and the root of shine squared u is shine u. This reduces down to the integral of 1. Same as we had before, integrating 1 with respect to u gives us u plus a constant c. So we can make u the subject easily from here. Remember that cos u would be equal to x over a, so u would be the inverse cos of x over a. And so I've written that down here, plus that constant of integration c. Or you might prefer this notation, r cos x over a, OK? Plus constant of integration c. OK, well, I hope that's been of some use to you. In the next few videos, what I want to show you is how we can apply these ideas in various integrals. So I hope you'll take time out to check those out. OK, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do give us a like. And you might also want to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updates of when I upload any new videos. So thanks for watching. Hopefully catch you in another video. Bye for now.